As Ken Kreitzer for the Iona College Basketball Report, I have the great pleasure of meeting tonight Steve Burt, Jr., one of uh, Iona's all-time greats. In fact, uh, the uh, second leading scorer in Iona history. Uh, he and his dad have the unique distinction of being the all-time points leader as a father-son uh, combo in, in basketball. Steve, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. It's a pleasure being out here uh, representing the school and uh, in the basketball tournament. Well, let's just refresh your college career for some of our, our viewers. Uh, uh, you were part of the 06 team that uh, won the MAC title and uh, and went to uh, play in the NCAA tournament. Tell us a little bit about what were some of the highlights for you your college days. Oh, man, uh, just coming in probably my last two years, probably the best two years. Uh, my senior year being uh, like top three or four in the nation and scoring the entire year. Uh, and really just have an opportunity to go to the tournament, though. I did a whole lot of scoring my, my four years there, but uh, that last year to win the title um, and uh, to go represent the, the school and the conference in the NCAA tournament was probably one of my fondest memories. Absolutely. Now tell us, if you would, about some of the stops uh, uh, since your uh, graduation. Uh, where are some of the places that you've been uh, playing basketball and doing other things? Oh, man, all over, man. I've been all, all over Europe, man. Greece, uh, Israel, Spain, Italy. Ukraine, Russia, Turkey, China. I've been everywhere, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been a, it's been a blessing, man. So I've uh, been playing for 11 years now, so still doing it. Well, that's an incredible uh, learning experience. I mean, very few people have that opportunity. Uh, what, what have been some of the unique experiences that, you know, one or two come to mind of, of playing basketball in all these different places in Europe? Uh, probably the, the main thing would be the coach's shock, man. All these things that you, you know, read about and, and, and see about on you know CNN and all these things are very real over there and being a basketball player um, you get to be in these places and experience these things man one of my probably my fondest memory uh, was playing in Israel uh, we the team I was on was probably about 15 minutes from the Gaza Strip so we experienced sometimes rockets being shot into our city uh, alarms going off in the city meaning that there were rockets on the way and you know seeing how every Almost every major building had like a pan, like a panic bomb room in the in the building that was you know that would protect it from if rockets were to hit that that structure. So seeing that and seeing it uh, live was was probably one of the most you know outside of just basketball, just living probably one of the, the major things I experienced. Well, that's a very unique experience uh, that you've had. Uh, I got to ask, how's your dad doing? Doing well, man. He's doing well. Uh, he's uh, teaching and he's coaching uh, in high school. Uh, excuse me, junior high school basketball. That's great. Now, how is it for you to come back and play with some of your uh, friends from uh, Iona basketball, some of the younger guys uh, uh, for this uh, summer tournament? What's it like for you? Uh, it's fun. It's fun for me, man. When I got the opportunity, I, I jumped at it, man, to uh, go and once again, you know, be a part of the. Uh, the school and the program in, in some fashion and, and represent the school and really and really get a feel for some of these young guys that came after me that I only only got to see play now I get to you know play with some of these guys. What is it like for you? I, mean, I imagine you've been over to the campus uh, some, somewhat a lot of changes, a lot of improvements to Iona. How has it changed from your days as a student and a basketball player? Uh, probably the main thing that's changed, we, uh, they added a new building like across the street from campus, a new like dorm building or uh, and probably uh, the football team not being there anymore. So now that that field is just like it's just for soccer. That's probably one of the major things removing that program because it was like hundreds of those guys that you would see on a daily basis on uh, in the training room, uh, in the gym, you know, outside just walking around. So I remember I own a football very well. Steve Burt Jr., a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I've watched you play many times. Never had a chance to meet you, but it's great to see you. I'm glad you're playing on this Iona Summer League team. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer for the Iona College Basketball Report.